Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome back. Welcome to another day, and welcome to another grocery haul. We just pulled up at Walmart. Uh, we're actually at a different Walmart than what we normally go to. Uh, <laughs> Audrey had an orthodontist appointment. You'll see all that in tomorrow's video because I'm vlogging today too. But she had an orthodontist appointment, so we decided to go to the Walmart that's here close to that. Never been in here before, but we're going to go in and shop for our groceries. We're not doing grocery pickup. We're going to go in and shop for what we need. We've already got a bunch of sandwich stuff and chips, some drinks, um, some snacks. I really need to get some things to make our meals this week that we want. And I need to get just some odd and end things that we need. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany and this is our small town life. We're so happy to have you here. We are just a simple southern family living our life, living our adventure, and bringing you along for the ride. We're in the process of buying a double wide, putting it on a little piece of property, starting our own little one acre homestead. We'd love to have you join us for that journey. We have some moving vlogs. I'll link those down in the description box so you can get caught up. We do grocery hauls every single week, so if that's something you like, make sure you subscribe before you leave today. <laughs> what are you doing? Have you been doing that the whole time? Uh -huh. Like, <laughs> sitting there smiling and making faces. <laughs> oh, me. Yeah. Oh, my. All right, we're going to go in and get our groceries, and then when we get home, we'll show you everything that we got this week and share this week's meal plan with you. <laughs> You're a mess. <laughs> Here's all the groceries for this week. It's actually a lot of non-food items. We spent about $100 on food and about $100 on non-food. What? Not supposed to spend $100. <laughs> Not supposed to spend $100. It'll be all right. We went a little bit over our <laughs> over our budget, but spend $200? Right at it. Yes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but that's fine. We planned accordingly this week because like I said I knew there were some things that were more expensive that we wanted to get hey hey diapers okay so drinks actually before we do that let me show you this week's meal plan or what we're kind of thinking so vegetable soup Easton requested lasagna uh, Justin requested chicken and dumplings and some other things I'll pop it up on the screen so that you can see kind of what we're thinking for this week now, what we got for drinks, there's a case of water over there that we're going to come back this way. The rest are over here. Yes, buddy? A popsicle? You may. Look at this. Look at this. Do y'all see what I see? found it. Finally found it. If you've been around here a while, you know how long I have been looking for this stuff right here. Just Dr. Pepper cream soda in general has been hard to find lately. I've never been able to find the zero sugar, but today I found it. Like I said, we were at a different Walmart and we walked down the aisle and I saw it, grabbed it up real quick. And then some bottles of Mellow Yellow. Yes, buddy? Huh? Okay, hang on one moment and I'll help you, okay? Some 1% milk and then Fairlife milk for Justin. They didn't have any 2%, so we got whole and then I think Audrey picked this red, white, and blue pop sparkling water out. And Easton picked out the cotton candy. We got some more baby food. Bananas. Banana. Squash. Sweet potatoes. And then a couple apple and blueberry. That'll be something oh, new for him to try. Apple. He might like it with the blueberries. Huddy was saying that he didn't really care for the apples. Why it didn't. But he might like the apple and blueberry. We'll see. And then some more... Cereal decided to get this power blend and let him try that and then this right here will be something a little bit new as well pear spinach and pea The only meat that I needed to get was Chicken we've got everything else in the freezer For chicken and dumplings. For chicken and dumplings yes some ricotta cheese and mozzarella cheese for the lasagna and some lasagna lasagna noodles. I don't always get the oven ready, but that's what Audrey grabbed for us, and they were a pretty good price. So, we got the great value oven ready lasagna noodles. Audrey also picked this out. I didn't even see. Oh, it's maple. She saw it. Will it focus? There we go. She saw that and wanted it. 
And I told her to grab one, but I wasn't even sure what flavor it was. So maple. And then the boys wanted these Lion King yogurts, cotton candy, and wild berry. I think they want to try to stick them in the freezer and see if they'll freeze a little bit. I've been looking for these for a while. It's another one of those things that I've not been able to find. But the Rolo Colliders. I'm excited to try that. There's a couple of cans of biscuits because we're going to do easy dumplings. Some grapes. Green grapes this week. Just got a bag of salad mix. We want to have that. I think Justin wanted to get some steaks out of the, of the freezer and do that one night with salad. And then if there's some left over, we'll have it with the lasagna. An onion and a bell pepper. Probably to go in the lasagna and then maybe a little bit of it on the salad. And Justin also wanted some black olives in the lasagna. We have pretty much everything here for vegetable soup. But we wanted some lima beans. So we got some of those. Needed some chicken broth for the chicken and dumplings and a couple of cans of the Ragu Simply Traditional for lasagna. My mind went blank for a second. Some mayonnaise, some squeezed mayonnaise and mustard. I was able to find some Christmas tree cakes. Actually, Easton spotted them and grabbed them. He got a big pack of Christmas tree cakes. Justin will be excited about that. We were also out of eggs. So we got some more eggs. These three things right here are for Justin to take to work just to have for lunches. A little lasagna, chicken pot pie. He wanted to try he wanted to try some different things. I got a little parrot over there repeating everything that I say. <laughs> and a beef pot roast bowl. Audrey saw this pulled pork and mac and cheese and said it looked real good, so she grabbed one of those. The kids also grabbed a couple of pizzas. The rest is non-food. So we got a cool mist humidifier. Thought that would be good, especially with Wyatt being stuffy. Audrey needed some, con uh, I started to say conditioner, some detangler. It's the Aussie Kids Bloomin' Apple Detangler. And then I wanted to try a different shampoo. So I got the Birch Bark. I've heard that this should be good. Y'all know all the issues I've had with my hair. So hopefully... This right here will help out. I don't know. We'll see. Justin needed some more cologne. This is something new that he's not not tried before, but smelled it in the store and it smelled good, so we got it. The kids also wanted this SpongeBob two-in-one shampoo and body wash, and then Audrey needed some more vitamins. The boys also wanted to get these Mandalorian bath bombs. So they each got one of those, toilet paper, paper towels, and some diapers. So like I said, a lot of more expensive non-food things. $20, $30, $20, $15. So you see, it adds up quickly. Oh, I don't think I mentioned these right here either. I like to use these with my face wash at night. So I got this two pack, one for me and one for Audrey. And that's this week's groceries. Thank y'all for coming along with us, uh, spending a little time with us, looking at what we got this week, seeing our meal plan, all that good stuff. Don't forget, if you enjoy grocery hauls, make sure you subscribe. We do these every single week. We love you guys. We appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Tell them again. Tell them again. Bye, y'all. Take me back, take me back.